not a game, it's a red skin. What is going on, peeps? What is going on? It's Valerie's Naturals. Only because I've still got this slight cold, but it's making me, like, have no voice today. Oh, I don't know if that's an omen. But anyway, I thought today, first of all, I'm going to get a card out from the angels and see what the angels have got to say to us, and then we can go from there. So if you are new, welcome. And, and all welcome back. Thank you for being here. Just let you know, these are general reasons, readings, and they might not resonate with you, but take it as entertainment if you want to. Do you know what I mean? It could be a man, it could be a woman, it could be non-binary, same sex. Energy is energy. So if I'm saying he, it could be a she, okay? <laughs> and just as a reminder, I don't know if you realise, but I do readings. I do personal readings. Go to my link in the description. And I'm just trying to think if there's anything else I need to tell you. Yes, please subscribe. Hit the alert bell. So you know when I'm going to do another video. And if you've been here long enough, you know my spirit guides are going to... I don't wait for the cards to drop out. I pick them out because spirit is guiding me always. Okay? They're usually just side notes for me. But let's get a card out and see what angel's with us today. Okay? Oh, let's see. So we've got... Oh, oh, Angel Michael. And it says here, truth, protection, and clarity. Oh, my goodness. Is that an omen? Let's have a see and let's see what this is about. And it's number one as well. If you want to be my number one. Oh, my God. I can't sing. My throat is dry. It says, Archangel Michael or Saint Michael is one of the most well-known and revered angels. His name means he is like God, and he is mentioned in the religious texts of the Christian, Jewish, and Islamic faiths. He is referred to as a warrior, leader, and great captain. Archangel Michael is powerful protector and is the one to call on whenever you need a to feel safe, protected, or want to must up some courage. Oh, so the oracle message here is you are stronger than you know and have reserves of strength you haven't accessed yet. Whatever is going on in your life now, you have got this. Heed the message. And it does give other messages. I'm going to read them quickly because they're short and I'm not going to take it too long. But it says in love and relationships, have the courage to put yourself out there with the people you love. Walk away from people who are not who do not have your best interest at heart. At work, stand in your power. It's time to discover and activate your life purpose. At home, protect your home with the light of Michael and a good security system. When it comes to money, get some clarity on what is really going on with your finances. Knowledge is power. Your well-being. Work on creating healthy and loving boundaries with others so you are not affected by energy that is not yours. And lastly, spirituality. Work on your energy and spiritual protection. Visualize yourself in a protective bubble of light. Affirm and trust you are safe. Is there a reason why Archangel Michael is here? It's because it says here about truth protection and clarity is there something we need to be clear about let's find out shall we so i thought today i'm going to do something different and i'm gonna um actually get out is it the love connections because i don't get them out of so much. it's all the soul connections when two hearts meet as one now is this protection about um something that is going on with you at the moment? Let's find out, shall we? So let's get some cards out. These are about your soulmate's um twin flame journey. And it gives messages about that. So I just thought I'd get them out there. Because I don't get them out often enough. So Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, what messages do you have for the collective today? Let us know. Thank you, Spirit. Let us know. What messages do you have? Please let us know. Is it about protection, truth, and clarity? Oh, let's find out, shall we? Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, thank you for your guidance, protection, assistance. Please give me the message. What messages do you have? Let's figure it out, shall we, people? So the first card is, I might get two or three out, depending on what comes out, okay? So the first one is enlightenment. It says, with enlightenment, there is no separation. We recognize that we are one of the divine. Oh, interesting. Why is that coming out? Let's see. 
receptive. Be ready to receive what fate has planned for you. And I'm going to get one more out. Okay, let's see what else is coming out here. Oh. Yin and yang. Oh, here we go. Like the yin and yang symbol, twin flames contain an aspect of each other's character within themselves. Do you know what I'm getting immediately? Someone's been enlightened that, do you know, you are their yin to their yang. <laughs> now, I don't know why the receptive is here. Now, again, I had this yesterday, but is it in reference to the, the new or the old? Because the receptive says, uh, be ready to receive what fate has planned for you. Someone's definitely been enlightened, though, isn't it? Are they are they thinking about being receptive because they realize what this situation is? Yin and yang, dark and light. You know, two souls that meet as one. And some people don't like to hear these things, but here you go. This is what's coming out here. Someone's been enlightened, and maybe you need to be receptive in reference to your twin flame journey. Does someone want to come forward to you? Let's find out. Let's find out what's going on. What's at the bottom of this deck? Feelings. Oh, take time out to explain the deep emotions you're experiencing somebody's experiencing some deep emotions i'm telling you somebody's experiencing that so let's get some cards out and figure it out shall we let's see why these cards are here holy spirit holy angels i sound a bit croaky because i'm still getting over a cold but at least i'm not coughing okay so holy spirit holy angels thank you for your guidance protection assistance please give us the message why did someone is somebody enlightened now i'm getting this message that is again your fingers moved on and somebody wants to come forward to you so Somebody wants to be receptive to you. Somebody wants to be equal. Somebody wants to be your yang to your yang. And they're asking for you to be receptive. It's almost like your highest, their higher self is asking for you to be receptive towards them. But, do you know, use your perception. Use your discernment. Use your discernment when it comes to the situation. Because, do you know, energy is energy, people. Energy is energy. Just figure that out, okay? Just see and know, people. Just see and know. <laughs> Holy Spirit, please give me some messages. Thank you. So let's see what's coming out here. So what have we got first of all? See what I mean? Somebody wants to communicate with you. The Eight of Wands. They want you to be receptive to their connect to their actual um situation. Let's see if we can get some cards in here. So if I just put that one down and get this out of the way. So you can see the cards. Come on. My voice is very croaky today. So let's see. So you can see the cards on what's going on. Okay, so there's Archangel Michael there. I'm going to put him right there just out of the way for the minute. I'm going to move these up because I want you to see these cards. So the very first card that's come out is the communication. Do you see what I mean? Does somebody want you to be receptive to their communication? They've been enlightened about the situation. They want you to be receptive because they realise what your situation is. It's a yin and yang situation. Now, I'm not suggesting for one minute that all of you got to be receptive to this situation. It depends on your circumstances because this is a general read. But somebody wants to move towards you or wants to communicate, okay? The arrows are flying. Is that Cupid's arrow? <laughs> the flowers are... Let's see what else comes out here. What is it they want to communicate? Oh, no. See, this could go two ways. Okay. My queen of wands is always going to be my karmic or that interference. Do you know? Back in the day, the queen of wands was the mistress, if you didn't know. Okay. And this is why I say the karmic, because it's the mistress. But on a good note, this person wants to communicate with you. This highly intuitive person, this person who is full of passion, who's a leader, who's a fire, who's a fire, who's an enthusiastic person, full stop. But it depends on what comes out next. We'll determine what's going on there. Yeah. The Knight of Swords. They want to rush in towards you. This person is like, there's two cards of moving forward. They want to rush in. They want to rush in. But do you know what? Rushing in where fools fear to tread, okay, is another thing entirely. And this is maybe why Archangel Michael's here. Trust, protection, and clarity. Does someone want to clarify the situation? Are they tired of what's going on? I don't know. But let's let's get some more cards out and figure it out. Yeah, King of Pentacles. They want to appear to be the King of Pentacles, but they really want to rush in. 
do you know what I'm getting here? I mean, this story will change because I'm doing the path, what they call the path. But what I've got here is someone who really wants to communicate. They want to rush in where fools were to tread. And, do you know, it's like, but they, at the same time, they want to appear to be this king of pentacles. Is this one in the same person or is this two people? I have to ask myself. I really have to ask myself. Let me just get one more card out. Oh, because somebody's looking for their ten of cups. Somebody's looking for the ultimate stability, emotional stability. Is it that they're in balance? Does this is why they're coming across like this? They want to appear as the king of pentacles, somebody who's stable, reliable, who's got their shit together. But at the same time, they might also be a want. You know, they want to appear. Is this their representative? I keep talking about the representative. Does the reserve representative? want to come back or does the representative want to come in but really this is the person who can be a little bit do you know when you get the knight that wants to rush in with the sword up behind the head it's almost like they want to come in and, and give you a face but really there's chaos going on in the background for them do you know what i mean it's like is it chaotic what's going on with them who's to say but let's have a look they've certainly been enlightened yeah because they realise who you are. The Queen of Cups. You're the Queen of Cups, the actual loving, caring person who sees them for who they are now. And you're going to use your discernment in all things. You're going to use your discernment in reference to this communication because somebody's going to come in with some communication. This is what I'm getting. Some forward movement. But, you know, it's down to you whether you want to accept this. But here you go in reference to that communication. Now, let's see what's coming up here. The world card. You see what I mean? Someone sees you as this go-getter, someone who's forward thinking. You know, fire energy is always going to be like burning passions. Do you know what I mean? It's always going to be about burning passions. And you know what your passion is. And when you see the world card come up against this, this is you wanting to move forward and close karmic cycles. You want to close karmic cycles, especially with this Knight of Swords. You don't want that energy anymore because that's what happened the last time. Somebody, this is almost like the love bombing situation. Somebody might have love bombed you in the past and then suddenly they did this breadcrumbing thing and this is why my Archangel Michael is here to get clarity, to get the truth and to be protected at the same time. Do you know what I mean? Somebody appears to you in one way, but in actual fact, there's something else. Yeah, they want to rush into this love situation. You can't make this up. But the thing is, do you see the snake wound around the, the, this person? And this person, uh, this is what I need to point out to you. This person is androgynous, meaning you can't tell whether that's a man or a woman. And they've got a snake wrapped around them. And the snake is actually wrapped around their arm. And it's moving on up around you. Now, is that indicating a snake in the grass? Or is it indicated that you're bound together? Because it does give us the yin and the yang. Are you bound together as one? And it's no matter what you do to pull away from this situation, you can't. And maybe it's vice versa for the other person. They're feeling the pull and they want to communicate. They don't want to let you go. They don't want to close cycles. Are they going to fight for this? Are they going to fight for this? Or is it somebody who just wants to come back in their devil energy again? Do you know, only you would know. Use your discernment because somebody definitely wants to. Now, you could say that it's two people wanting you, but I think it's one and the same person. Somebody who wants to appear stable to you, wants to appear reliable, that person that you can rely on. But really, they're in their knight of swords, which is a step down from your queen of wands, isn't it? Do you know, it's a step down. And first of all, um, and most of all, that's somebody who wants to rush in. And sometimes it's about chaos. It's about not doing the right thing. But you have to ask yourself, do you need to actually hold back from this person? Do you need to hold back? Do you need to withhold your energy, your time, your space, whatever? This is not going to apply to everybody. But um, in order for you to, you need to hold back. Do you know, it's a message. You need to hold back in order to get your, your happiness. Is that what it is? Because this person, I'm getting that this person thinks that the old games is going to work and it's not because you are somebody else. You may be loving and caring, but you've learned discernment. When you see the Queen of Cups, you've learned discernment. You learn to know when to give your energy and when to take your energy and when not to, do you know, basically not to deal with somebody full stop. But somebody definitely wants to communicate here. What do they want to communicate to you? Is it about a situation they had previously? 
Do they want to tell you the truth? Is that what it is? Do they want to clarify situations? Is that what it is? Because somebody, you know, is looking towards their happiness. This person wants to wants you to be their happiness, basically. But you're thinking, should you hold back? Should you hold back and think about your own happiness? Do you know what I mean? Did this person even make you happy? They might have done at one point. They might have been your best friend. They might have been your lover. They might have been somebody that you thought you could rely on, that you could trust. But they broke your trust. This is what I'm getting. And now they want to rush, rush in this love situation. Remember, the, the lovers is also about choices. You can choose whether you hold back or accept what they want. But what we've got here is the five of pentacles. Somebody feeling left out in the cold because of this situation. Interesting. Someone feeling left out in the cold. Why did they feel left out in the cold? What's at the bottom of the deck? Let's figure it out. Mm, let's figure it out. Let's figure it out, shall we? So, yeah, they're feeling left out in the cold and needing strength in this situation. Because it's a tower moment to them that they can't get what they want because they've been manifesting you and it didn't work. Because you had choices. Can you see this? The Seven of Cups. You had choices. And you chose to put this, transform this situation. You said, no, I'm not going there. None of that nonsense. Do you know what I mean? Or it could just be that, you know, yeah, you put this to rest and now somebody's feeling rejected. And that's what it is. That's what's at the bottom of the deck, people. But what is going on, really? Do you know what? What do they want to communicate to you? I'm going <clears> to <throat> I'm gonna take this to an extended because I, there's questions here that need to be answered. Who really is the Queen of Wands? Is it you or is it a karmic? And that will change the whole situation because if this is a karmic, OK, then um, they want to make sure that the cycle is closed with you and your person. You could look at this as a whole different light. This could be two women. It could be you are the Queen of Cups and there is a Queen of Wands. And this person doesn't want you. You could be wanting to close this cycle, but this this Queen of Wands definitely wants to close this cycle with you and your person. But your person, all your person wants to do is communicate with you and rush in because they realise what this situation is. Do you know what I mean? And they may even come across as trying to appear as the Knight of Pentacles. But again, you could take this two ways. This could be two characters. So we're going to figure this out. I'm going to do an extended because this could go run deeper. Do you know, I'm going to do an extended on this because this can run deeper than that. But what we've got here is we could have two queens here and we could have one person or we could have two kings. We could have two queens, two kings. No, two queens, one king and one knight. But I don't think so. I think these two characters is one and the same person. I'm getting the same energy from this card. But this could be two people. And the more I look at it, the more I'm seeing that it's two people. Because I did say it could be you, you know, in the good sense, enthusiastic, forward thinking, who's a leader, do you know? But now that I see the Queen of Cups, the Queen of Cups is here. And somebody wants to communicate with the Queen of Cups. You get what I'm giving, people. You get what I'm giving. Can you see this? But it's all about somebody being enlightened after all. After all what's gone on, someone is being enlightened in this situation. Can you see these cards, people? Someone is being enlightened in this situation. OK, they want to be receptive to this situation now, whereas they could have been very negative and they could have been very defensive about it. But now they're seeing something different. And what is it that they're seeing, people? What is it that they're seeing? I'm going to take this to extended. I'm going to ask. I'm going to answer some of these questions because we've definitely got two queens here now. The more I'm looking at this. But why does this queen want to close cycles? Do you know what I mean? Why does this queen want to close the cycle? Is it because of you or is it because there's something going on with this person? Maybe they, they're showing that your person, the representative, or it could even be that this queen of wands is the one that rushed in and made it look like she was the representative. This gets deep and we're going to figure this out, people, because there's so much going on here. You could literally say that maybe the queen of wands was the representative and she showed up and showed out and rushed in and love bombed your person. And your person was thinking that they were stable and reliable, somebody they could look up to too, somebody who could be their equal. But it turns out that 
you know, all this person wanted to do was, you know, it's like, if I can't have you, I don't want nobody else. I don't want you to have anybody. If I can't have you, I don't want anybody else to have you. That kind of scenario. But anyway, I'm going to leave this here, people. So if you are not subscribed already, please subscribe. Hit the alert bell so you know when I'm going to do another video. And if you are into um, extra content, getting this content early, please come and join me over on Patreon. And don't forget, I... I take personal reading so that all the links is down in the bio for my Patreon. You can even join me on TikTok, but, you know, come and join the Patreon gang gang. Well, that's where it's at for me. I'm on there every single day. So take care till next time, people. And we're going to extend this on. And if you can, follow me over to the extended. Take care till next time. Bye bye. <laughs>